J Love had one of the few channels on YouTube which featured a black man who passionately and fearlessly championed the cause of black women. To me, his support has always seemed genuine, and I supported him with a sub. If you fast forward to about four or five days ago, um, J Love revealed what he really thinks about black women on my video Are Black Women Masculine? Now, I copied and pasted some of the comments and I posted them on my channel because there are so many comments on the video, I couldn't find everything that he had said, but there are enough comments copied and pasted on my channel for you to get a taste of his true sentiments with regards to black women and where we stand and how he feels about us. According to J Love, nobody wants black women. I thought that was a mouthful coming from a black man. He goes on to reduce all black women and non-black male relationships, romantic relationships, to slave master fantasies. He seems to think that we, black women, a.k.a. Aunt Jemimas, don't have the goods to get men of any race, let alone black men, the men of our same race group. I had initially uploaded a response, but because it indicted all black men, I decided against it. I'm going to take the high road. Christmas is right around the corner, and I'm in good spirits. I'm of good cheer, and I don't want to say anything that's going to make someone not have a jolly, happy, merry Christmas. I wonder, when I hear black men say things that are so nasty and evil about black women, you know, how would they feel if a female relative heard what they said? I, I wonder, do they really mean these things or are they saying them just to be mean and nasty? But the more I hear, the more I realize that the things that black men are saying, especially on YouTube, are really a reflection of how they truly feel about black women. They're not pretending. They really have no love for black women. Not even brotherly, sisterly love, which I think is oftentimes the most genuine and the most lasting. Anyway, if black women are the last chosen by non-black men as maids, J. Love, it's because black women have, up until recent years, shunned the advances of men from other races. Black women have been blindly, and still are, a lot of them are still blindly loyal to a fault with regards to black men. It isn't because men of other races were not approaching us, and it's not because men of other races don't find us attractive. It's because black women used to reject non-black men. So when you make the argument that nobody wants black women, it's not telling the truth. That's not true. But this makes hateful black men like you feel better because I think a lot of black males have bruised egos when they see black women with non-black men. I think it does something to you. I think it's the root of the problem is jealousy. The goal is not to reach for black men any longer. Not with the current state of black men, I, I just don't think it's the reality for black women anymore. I think the new goal for the average forward-thinking black woman is to reach for a man who is, by all accounts, a good man. And I can use that phrase. Everybody knows what I mean when I say a good man. An employed man, an honest man, a loving man, a straight man, a drug-free man. If those types of men are now being found in different colors, different races, and from different cultures, then that's fine. Some black men, like you, I think have taken black women's loyalty for granted. And now that the game has changed, I think some black men are crying foul and feeling very uncomfortable. It is outright psychological abuse. For black men to try to belittle and demean black women into romantic relationships. To take the position that we, black women, have no choice but to date down. And that's oftentimes what some black women are having to do. That we have to date down to be with black men because, quote unquote, nobody really wants black women. That's abuse. 
it's not going to make black women come back to black men romantically by you saying things like that or by any black man saying things like that. It's only going to ensure that black women leave. So now black men are conducting themselves in a manner that drives black women away romantically and platonically. If you want a woman, you should conduct yourself in a way that she's going to be attracted to you. You, you can't act like a caveman and beat her over the head with verbal abuse and make her feel like she doesn't have any options to go elsewhere because black women do have options. We have more options than be with a black man or be alone. Just because you say nobody wants black women, it doesn't make it true and it'll never make it true. Why are so many of you black men keeping tabs on who wants black women? How many videos are you going to make showing who white men prefer and who Hispanic men prefer and who Asian men prefer? And then you love to tell us that we're the last pick. That's really none of your business. Mind your business and we will mind our business. A common problem for so many black women in interracial relationships is that they are being harassed by black men. The irony is that sometimes those black men are in interracial relationships too. I mean, let's not be hypocrites anymore, okay? Let's be honest for a minute. Let's be honest. Black men and black women are the last chosen by all other races. And sometimes we choose each other last. So to say that nobody wants black women, that statement could easily apply to black men as well. But even with this in mind, let's explore a few truths. Number one, white men still have the power and the privilege of having just about any woman, woman of their choosing. They have positioned themselves in such a way that they are top dog, period. That's the truth. Number two, most women prefer their own race of men first, even black women. Most black women that I encounter have a preference for black men first. Not all. A lot of black women, even those with a preference for black men, are still willing to expand their options and date men of other races. But overwhelmingly, most women of all races have a preference for their own race of men. Now, taking into consideration the education and the moral chasm between black women and black men, this is causing a lot of black women to realize that something is going to have to supersede race in choosing a mate. You just cannot stay with someone out of race loyalty and out of cultural comfort. You have to be compatible. So when we, black women and black men, decide to leave or date or marry outside of the race, we're really doing it for very different reasons. We have two sets of reasons for dating outside. When black women date outside, they're normally seeking mates who are economically and educationally on their level. But when black men are trying to date interracially, they're usually trying to get women who will appear to help them move up globally. They're looking for women who they think has more global value than uh, their own race of women. And since white women have an exaggerated value, a lot of times black men will attempt to date white women.